Coming up on Mountain News this morning, a kidnapping call in Tennessee leads police on a dangerous chase that ended in Bell County. Also in Bell County, a crash between a semi and an SUV leaves one person hospitalized and in serious condition. And we take you to Frankfurt, where opponents of medical marijuana make their push against a bill moving through the General Assembly. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. And good morning. The time is now 534 on this Friday. We've made it through a full week. I've made it through a full week. Congratulations. Thank well, you, you still have an hour and a half to go, but it's trending upwards. <laughs> it is. So is that weather. <laughs> so is the weather going to be trending upwards as we go towards the weekend, mm -hmm. which will seem to be nice. And we can bring Brandon back in here to uh, describe that for us, Brandon. Except mm -hmm. for today, we're going to have some eh, kind of weather. Listen, it's a it's a 180 today from yesterday, and it'll be another 180 tomorrow. Uh, basically, 360 in two days is basically what's going to happen. But again, today is one of the colder days we're going to see. Bless you, William. We're also going to continue to see uh, a little bit of rain and snow throughout the day. Let's take a look and see what's going on right now. The last six hours on satellite radar, I had the weak wave of energy come through, bringing us some scattered showers and more trying to form there across parts of uh, northeastern Kentucky. So we're going to continue to watch that. Some snow up towards Cincinnati, but it's a little bit colder up there. We're still in the 40s for most of the area here, with the exception of Wise, now down to 39. I think we'll all drop into the upper 30s, or at least close there, by the time we get to 7 or 8 o'clock this morning, and temperatures will continue to fall until we get into about mid-morning, you see the winds are picking up. They're coming out of the west and northwest this morning. So that means it's going to pull some of that colder air in. and also means it could pull some moisture in here too. So we're watching that very carefully. Day planner today, we drop all the way into the upper 30s or mid 30s by mid morning and then upper 30s as we stabilize later today. Those chances for rain and snow are around in scattered form throughout the day and into the evening as well. We'll talk about the extended forecast and what you can expect for later today and tonight here in a little bit. Lacey. Thank you, Brandon. A crash in Bell County between a semi and a SUV left one man with serious injuries yesterday. WYMT's Hannah Reynolds talked to deputies who responded to that crash. It started out a normal morning on Highway 119 when around 1130. Well, we had a, uh, a SUV that was northbound and a southbound semi uh, was coming towards it and it, they, they struck. So lots of scenarios go through your head on the way. It wasn't exactly head on, but came close. To, to cut the, the frame of uh, the door frame and then they could remove him safely that way. Leaving the driver with serious injuries. He hit uh, the first, uh, it appeared to hit the front wheel and then bounced down through the uh, fuel tank and then hit the uh, front wheels of the back duels. Even with the road back open, the biggest questions still linger on 119. What caused it and how did this happen? In Bell County, Hannah Reynolds, WYMT Mountain News. Police do not know the extent of that driver's injuries just yet, and they are still working to figure out what led up to that crash. And it was a dangerous situation for police officers in Pineville Wednesday night. A police chase that started in Tennessee and ended up in Pineville. Middle Middlesboro police officers and Kentucky State Police Troopers joined in on the chase after it entered Kentucky. Police say Christopher Powell swerved his car towards officers, and the only way officers could end the chase was by pinning Powell's vehicle against the guardrail. Powell got out of the car attempting to run, but fell down a 40-foot embankment onto a concrete culvert. They had to tase him and ultimately force his hands behind his back. Uh, he was cussing still and you know, threatening the officers and fighting with them physically. Powell now faces a laundry list of charges, including five counts of one endangerment of a police officer, fleeing or evading police, receiving stolen property, and possession of meth. Well, the Kentucky House passed legislation in hopes of improving police pursuits. Under the new law, law enforcement will be required to create and implement pursuit policies. Officers would be required to complete training prior to taking part in pursuits. Legislators named the bill after Jill Hurst, the victim of a fatal crash during an Anderson County pol pol police pursuit last year. Jill's law is now heading to the Senate.
And do you recognize these two people? The Corbin Police Department needs your help figuring out who they are. They say these two burglarized a Speedy Mart on the corner of the Corbin Bypass in US 25 East last month. They managed to get away with some lottery tickets. If you have any information, call the Corbin Police Department at 606-528-1122. James Ronnie McIntosh appeared before a judge for sentencing in a Perry County courtroom yesterday. In late January, a jury found him guilty of murdering Danny Mullins. The judge took the jury's recommendation and McIntosh received 20 years for the murder charge and five years for the tampering with evidence charge. Those will be served concurrently. The judge said McIntosh will have to serve at least 85% of his sentence. A Floyd County doctor arrested the largest prescription opioid takedown in U.S. history will not face any jail time. Mohamed Mazumdur pleaded guilty last year to one count of conspiracy to unlawfully distributing controlled substances. The Lexington Herald leader reports the doctor was fined $10,000 and will spend the next six months on home incarceration. He also received six months of home detention. Well, opponents of medical marijuana make their push in Frankfurt. Advocates of the current legislation outlined their case to the Kentucky Senate. Medical marijuana opponents say legalization could lead to the proposals to allow recreational use. Proponents of the bill say the arguments from the opposition seek to keep Kentucky in the minority of states without legal med medicinal marijuana. The Kentucky House passed a bill that would legalize medical cannabis last month. And a Kentucky House committee has approved a bill to expand the state's attorney general's authority to enforce abortion law. The measure would expand the attorney general's power to regulate abortion facilities, including bringing civil or criminal penalty penalties for violations. It would enhance the power of attorney general Daniel Cameron to take enforcement action against abortion clinics without approval from Governor Andy Bashir's administration. The bill cleared the House Judiciary Committee on Wednesday. A two-year spending plan has passed its first vote in Frankfurt. Lawmakers in the House Appropriations and Revenue Committee approved a budget that keeps some of what the governor proposed, but also makes a lot of changes. WYMT's Phil Pendleton has been following this story and has more on the discussion at the Capitol. The revenue bill that the budget does include some new revenue, but not quite what Governor Andy Bashir wanted. The only new revenue that we proposed uh, is the tobacco and, and vaping tax. That's $23 million a year. There's no money from sports wagering, which is yet to be heard in the House. Uh, it's still under consideration, but it is not contemplated in this budget. The budget does spend a lot on education, but does not include the $2,000 teacher pay raise that Bashir ran his campaign on. It does include a 1% increment raise for all state employees, all certified and classified employees at local school districts in each year. There's also $18 million for school safety upgrades passed last year and $5 million for textbooks. That is slightly more in per-pupil funding than in the governor's proposal. It increases the seat per pupil base guarantee to $4,061 in fiscal year 21 and $4,112 in fiscal year 22. The House considered three budget bills and the Republican majority easily approved all of them. None of the Democrats in the House committee voted on the budget bill. The House Minority Whip said they simply did not have enough information. Very difficult to ask us to vote for something we have not yet read. Democrats are not happy with the level of teacher raises and the fact that a major project to increase broadband internet was removed. I'm disappointed with um, Kentucky Wired funding. I'm worried that that might put us in breach of contract. We still continue to have con conversations about Kentucky Wired, but we are not, uh, in this recommendation, not giving another $35 million to this project. Full House could vote on the budget Friday morning. In Frankfort, Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. Governor Bashir told us he is still reviewing the House proposal, but says he believes that educational funding needs to be number one. The city of Hazard continues to crack down on unsafe and rundown buildings. The city is looking at properties that pose a safety risk to community members. We talked with the city official yesterday who says they are focused on larger issues. Properties that could be fire hazards, could be issues that, you know, if they collapse, they could fall onto another house or if someone was nearby, they could hurt somebody. 
The city proposed an online forum to report nuisance properties. The city will also have paper copies available at City Hall soon. The city does ask that you read the linked materials that define a nuisance property. We will have a link to that on our website at WYMT.com. Well, just ahead on Mountain News this morning, we'll tell you how the newest social media trend hitting feeds across the nation could also be a dangerous one. After a very mild week, a taste of winter is on the way back today. I'll tell you how long it'll last in about three minutes.